Over the last three weeks, the Winera um, plant, which is responsible for production of boxes for planting and banana farmers, they've been experiencing a disruption because a particular machine called the corrugator, which has been operating for more than 50 years, went bad and they had to order a new machine out of China. That has caused serious problems for our farmers in terms of availability of boxes. And I know NFTU was the only exporting agency that had quite a bit of boxes available. I did engage NFTU in terms of seeing how they can share some of those boxes and they honestly did help in giving some other exporters assistance with boxes. But obviously they too would require boxes and so what they did, they kept the boxes. I initially engaged Winera for an update as to what was going on. I, I was told that there is a new machine that is <clears throat> being installed. I visited the plant last week, Wednesday, to get a first-hand view as to what was happening. I saw the persons, and they were all Chinese residents, installing the machine. They gave an indication of a time frame for completion of the machine, which was Tuesday of this week or yesterday. But what we never is experiencing is that they have not been able to receive the material for, the, for, for production of the boxes from the Dominican Republic, Republic. So the ministry considering the impact that is going to have on the sector, especially our farmers who are now enjoying the production after tropical storm breath, they are now in a, in a situation where they cannot sell their fruits. And obviously that's going to impact the farmers in a very negative way. The Ministry of Agriculture understanding the sensitivity of the problem. We purchased 17,000 boxes from Domrep. The boxes were supposed to arrive in St. Lucia tomorrow. The boxes left Dominican Republic on Saturday last week en route to Jamaica. But unfortunately, the bananas, the banana boxes remained in Jamaica on Monday and the ship actually got in, is getting into St. Lucia tomorrow. We were told, or we have been told by the shipping company, that the boxes will leave the dorm rep on Saturday and most likely will get into St. Lucia next Thursday. But I haven't consider, con taken into consideration what happened with the boxes in Jamaica. We've taken another initiative to get 12,000 boxes directly from the U.S. And as we speak today, the container <clears throat> has left, and we are hoping that <clears throat> by Wednesday morning, we will have boxes available for the farmers. We have already done all the necessaries in terms of advancing the documentation with the broker and so on. So as soon as that boat gets there next week, we are hoping that we can have some boxes available. This situation is very, very painful for me as a Minister for Agriculture because I understand what the farmers are going through. They suffered for like four or five months after a tropical storm breath in June. We gave them support in terms of fertilizer under the CERC program. And now they are in a situation where they have to be cutting the fruits because the fruits are ripe you know, on the tree. It is not something that should ever happen again, and I'm hoping that we can continue to engage Winera. And again, Winera is responsible for boxes, but I'm getting the impression that they were not aware of the surplus that was being experienced from end of November until now. We are in constant engagement with, the, with, the, with Winera, but I just want to call on our exporters, and that is NFTU, regional exporters, Rajim and the others, to play a more integral role in terms of the request for the boxes. The onus now falls on the ministry, but I want to say that these people are private companies and they too have to take responsibility in ensuring that they make the request on time and that the request is available to them. And we, would, we should never go through a situation like this for our farmers because our farmers are the ones who are suffering the most. So it's a very 
serious disruption in the in the in the sector and i do by next week if all goes well our farmers we can resume the harvesting of the fruits and continue to generate an income from